Over the last 50 years, transport systems have grown in terms of size, capacity, complexity and environmental pollution. We are facing global challenges relating to the growing energy demand, increasing air pollution, climate change, raw material shortage and rapid urbanization. The Department of Maritime and Transport Technology of Delft University develops solutions that contribute to addressing these global challenges. We investigate how to develop, design and operate innovative marine, dredging and transport systems and their equipment. The International Maritime Organization has announced its ambition to reduce global greenhouse gas emissions by 50% in 2050. This calls for the production of more renewable energy, carriers that allow us to transport, store and use renewable energy on board ships, and the electrification of marine, power and propulsion systems. Realizing this maritime energy transition is an integral part of the research carried out in the M entity towing tanks, where, for example, wave-induced motions, haptic feedback, and the characterization of advanced marine drive systems are studied to harness the adoption of renewable energy in a challenging maritime environment. People expect industrial systems, transport and production systems to be more safe, more efficient and more reliable. This asks for an optimal embedding of waterborne solutions in logistics chains and networks. We investigate the impact of information exchange, communication technology, sensor systems and computational power on the design and operations of large-scale multi-machine systems. We do this via the research lab Autonomous Shipping and the Autonomously Guided Vehicles Lab. In this way we work together with industry, governments and end-users on making transport and production systems more safe and efficient. Our research focuses on equipment, machines and processes for transport and logistics in an offshore, an onshore and a nearshore context. Examples include cargo handling in ports, supply of iron ore and coke for blast furnaces for steel production and design of floating terminals. We model the cargo, mostly granular materials such as uh, gravel, iron ore and biomass uh, together with the equipment to study the interaction. We then validate these models by executing uh, laboratory experiments as well as real-life experiments. Cargo is not only transported over water. The transfer to and from other modes is necessary. The equipment used for transport in this context varies in functions and dimensions. They operate under varying operational conditions. Benefiting from its highly specialized and interdisciplinary expertise and facilities, the department creates new opportunities for more safe and sustainable system operations while expanding in innovative directions the frontiers of the maritime and transport engineering sciences. Visit our website for more information.